gosh. No. Ugh, I hate it. <clears throat> um. Um, actually, we're just gonna I think that's how it's spelled. Hold up, let's find out. Seven thirty PM C I'm going to write this in the report. Am I able to oh all of this? Is that it breaking? No. Eastbound San Andreas. Uh, correction, Adams up a little bit. 122, I'm gonna patrol the Vinny area. I'll come back down to the city if you guys see. Do, do. Thank you. 130, 10 8. You need to remember. 122, 76, 32. Dances. It's just down the road. I believe it's, it's down the road from you. It's probably the mayor. Um, we'll still check it out. Ooh. Oh. Okay. We just type dance. We can random. Oh. Twenty-eight fifty. One. Uh, 
parking lot Pier Street code right. where I'm gonna just drive back to their house to make sure. The uh, firearm calls are where the uh, mayor and Siobhan are shooting. 13076 to the 311 from Xavier, which I believe to be Vespucci and popular. If not here, it could be the Raven Slaughterhouse. Uh, for processing, it was the one on the Vespucci and popular. Hey, firm. Hello! How's everybody? Oh, hey. All right. How you doing, Rhodes? I'm doing okay. I'm Rhodes. doing okay. How are y'all? Good. That's good. That's good. So, um, just out of curiosity, how long, you know, when y'all are doing this, is it, does it take y'all to, to uh, you know, yeah, get everything we're sorted? Cutting, we're cutting doing a lot tomorrow. right now. So ah, okay. We got a, we got like a hundred on us. Um, and this table will make it into 200. Uh, Ooh, okay. And that table is the one that takes for fucking ever. This one right here? Yeah. So this Ooh. is the, uh, this is where we clean it. Uh, oh, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that cuts it, this cleans it, and then we box it up in there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Meat is a lot faster, so it's, it's pretty easy to get in and out of the meat factory. Is but... that the one at the slaughterhouse down the road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. Tell this you what, shit, I'll um, I I can't promise that I'll be here the entire time, but I, what I, I will do sure. is I will be in the general area and I'll make sure I'm conducting my traffic stops around you, this general area. Hopefully, as a oh, preventative appreciate measure. That, appreciate you, brother. Yeah, Not a problem. Uh, hey, Rhodes. We try to be discreet when we're in here because you know it's obvious. Like, uh, I'm gonna be know. real. I didn't. When you said there was a bunch of people here. I didn't see a single car outside. I was like, wait, surely they're not at the There's more the people place. in the back room doing yeah, this. Yeah, I, so. I, I saw them. I saw them. <laughs> Where'd you park your car? We, uh, we parked it like way over uh, on the train track. Yeah, kinda. under the tunnel. But not on the train tracks, right? No, no, no. Like, okay. No, no, no. Start, I was going to say, you so. might not have a car much longer. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that crazy. I'm not that crazy. All right. Perfect. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this whole thing is, you know, it's not so bad, but, you know, when you've got like four or five hours worth of work sitting here it's kind of nerve yeah i don't I, I don't blame you i don't blame you <laughs> Rhodes, have you voted yet no vote for what the civilian oversight or you know the, uh, no i haven't who's up who, who can be voted on well me archie archer okay and then uh, a bunch of other people to be honest oh my god the whole hey, PD here. holy shit oh yeah wow I didn't hello that perfect hey, Duncan, you that's doing? you yeah and then what's your name Frost. Frost. Yeah. Guys, if you haven't voted yet, go down to City Hall. It's important, especially because these board members are going to be working with you guys, you know? Hmm. I'll definitely go ahead and do that. Yeah. Who's, uh, hey. who's going to be around at this time? It's going till Friday. No, I mean, like, who, like, who, which one of the candidates will uh, actually be like, around Temple. at this time first? All right. First Me. Temple, Samantha Sanders. Sanders. Um, they're, Me. they're kind of around now. Archie Archer. Archie Archer. That's me. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I spoke at two of your meetings, but, uh, yeah, you know, I look forward to working with you guys, not against you guys, because everyone thinks, you know, the board's going to be against y'all and own things in the civilians' favor mostly. But, you know, I my goal is to uh, hear the piece on both ends, not just be like a one-side Andy. Can I, I want to help you guys. Can I be brutally guys, honest with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kind of giving an HR spiel. When everybody knows HR's for the company. The company? Yeah. You're like, hey, I'm here for you guys, you know, oh. but, uh, you know. No, no, I'm, I'm being honest. <laughs> but, but really, it's for the sole production of the company. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got pizza, guys. <laughs> Work for me. Yeah, well, man. I've been treated very well by the PD, so I have no reason and no complaints. Are you saying you to... would have reason? I mean, if, oh, if no. I saw you guys were doing your job wrong, yeah, absolutely. But okay, I, I but okay, but but hear me out. Hear me out. What if 
you suspected we did our job wrong, but we didn't actually do it wrong. Well, that's what the point of the board is, Rhodes. We well, so the reason we vote. the reason I bring this up is because I operate a very specific way, and Xavier knows this firsthand. Xavier, oh, yeah. you, you got a you got a phone call one day from Kirk Seaman, didn't you? I got a phone call from many, many people. <laughs> Many, many, many people. Uh huh. And the moment he said, and you know, he said he didn't clock me. I guarantee you told him that I had him clocked, and I just I didn't told tell him. him. To shut up and just move on with your life. Because right. after that, he called you. Okay, he thought he was all high and mighty, and immediately <laughs> once that phone went down, <laughs> compliance through and through. <laughs> Listen, I operate on a very specific way. I'm a trust but verify kind of guy. And I'm just verifying that people have good intent. That's it. Yeah. I have no reason to not have good intentions against you guys. I've literally not been treated wrong by you guys. uh, At least yet. (laughs) Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. But I have no reason to want to be against y'all. Or tell you how to do your job. I want to work with you guys. Simple. (sighs) Ah. So when does the civilian oversight board thing, like, get called into action? Like, is there, are there requirements, or is it just a judgment call? Like, hey, you know what, I'm going to look into this. So when somebody comes to us, us four on the board, Uh with a serious matter of something is actually wrong in the PD, or they did something that is, you know, it should be looked at, we vote on it, and then, you know, then we decide, is that in but... terms of like rights violations or something as minor as like attitude? I'll give you an example. You know, I mean, like that honest, uh, case be like for Michael Minx or whatever that I had, where the, the guy was in the back of the car. Yep. People like that's that's an example of something that would have gone to the civilian oversight board. Got so it. Okay. Has that been resolved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they were found uh, not not uh, with no fault or whatever. Uh, Got it. Only, okay. Only because there was no no standard to look against, and now there is. So standard was set, so it's not a total loss, but uh, basically uh, there was nothing There was nothing in the law, nothing in anything that's been written that stated like how healthy a vehicle should be. So how would an officer know how good their vehicle should be to transport people? Um, so I can oh, actually sorry. briefly speak on behalf of that. Two minutes, go vote. Oh. Um, on that day... Uh, <laughs> See you, Rose. <laughs> this, this is... This is Okay, how do I explain this? Uh, they were responding to my call for backup. Yeah, yeah. they mm-hmm. they they arrived. Uh, they they crashed on the way. Uh, right. They attempted to repair their vehicle, and unfor- unfortunately, our repair kits uh, provided by the state were a little faulty that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was sort of a series of unfortunate events. It is what it is. Um, yeah. I, but under normal circumstances, I would agree that having a Smoking vehicle, you know, with somebody in it, definitely area of concern for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but in saying that, has legislation gone through regarding? Uh, yeah, it's like this. I, I want to say it's like your vehicle has to be at oh, least a certain. Okay. Uh, you can ticket people for not having repaired vehicles. If they're missing doors and shit, that's a ticket. But it goes for cops too. So you got to be careful with that. Yeah, people are... Okay. Uh... Oh, gosh. Um... I mean, I like the general vagueness, right? It, it states, this includes maintaining internal mechanical components and ensuring that external aspects, such as the vehicle's body, are properly maintained. Um, I like the wording of that specifically because it does not... I mean, I guess I should read further. Hold up. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, look, somebody who just got into an accident, do you need to write them a ticket? No, come on. Like, use some common sense. But, like, also, if that's, a, you know, if you've seen them riding around without a door a couple times or whatever, even once, I guess, you know, that's probably something that uh, you should bring up. You know? Especially on, like, you know, G6 fans. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I understand. I'm actually really liking how this is worded. For the I, I ain't read through it all, but um, it's 
So, Rhodes, take a guess at how much one beer is worth. Uh, 500 bucks. $1,224. What the fuck? Now, you have to split that one beer between at least two people. So, you're getting about you know, 500 a beer. I mean, but still. But this is why, this is why everybody is robbing hunters right now. Uh, I responded, so... Um, I unintentionally stumbled upon a robbery here the other day. Uh, somebody, somebody was in a pursuit with a Lampadotti. Now, yeah. here's the interesting bit. Uh, a Lampadotti is a car manufacturer. Mm -hmm. um, how do I... I'm trying to figure out... The model? It was a... I think a, a Cinquamila was the model name. It's the one that you see all the time. Um, yeah, it's, the, it's the robbery car. I yes. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, the Cinquamila was the one that was being chased that they lost around the general area. I'm driving down and I see one parked here. Now I don't have much information. I just know that it's the same model. So mm -hmm. I pull up. Nobody's there. I look mm -hmm. through the window. I see somebody with a gun. Yeah, no shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, crazy. So I'll tell you this right now, every robbery that I, everybody that I've talked to who's been robbed as a hunter and every, um, every robbery I've personally witnessed, there's at least one gun, usually two. And the others have wrenches and knives. roll four deep. Yep. And they're usually in a lamp of Yeah, that is exactly how that situation played out. Uh, at least one with the gun, uh, at least two with knives or wrenches, and then they all, they all, you know, obviously they negotiated for a free passage and stuff to their vehicle. Um, yeah, that, that is exactly what happened. Yep, and they, it's the same guys. Uh, it's, you know, the other night it was Chris King and some of those guys. Uh, the other day it was... Chris King? Who does he affiliate with? Uh, it's all, it's all chain gang. It's all chain gang. <clears throat> Like, blue hair, heard, Chris King. Heard, like, Never met yeah. this guy. He's a blue haired guy. He's he's an announcer at all major events. I actually repped him a couple times, and uh, the last time I repped him, he actually repped the guy that was in bench trial before him. It was pretty fucking funny. Actually. All right, thirty-seven Bravo Square. Very interesting. Right, yeah, eight. I've never met the guy. Back to its, uh, the reason that we knew it was him was because he um, told Cal, ha ha, I stole your car the day before. We, the fuck? He, yeah, he knew it was him that had no, stolen he, the he car. said, yeah, it's, it's Chris King from the day before. He gave yeah. his whole full name. So, yeah. I'm, who admits to that shit? Oh, he, he I, no, no, let me to, tell you. He somebody proceeded wrote, to knock him on the head. Wrote, so somebody who's trying to shit. make it. Somebody who's new to the gang and trying to make himself look good in front of the fellow gang members with the gun. Get into it. That's who. Hmm. Yeah. Well, he was just trying to look tough. Kind of crazy. He's the, you know, for such an interesting last name, he's not really giving King behavior, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I would love to process whoever this person is. I would have a field day. All right, I'm going to get out there, but I am going to be in the general area. If, sure truthfully, I'm going to be close enough to where if you just 311 um, indicating that, you know, people have arrived, um, I'll swing by just as a, uh, you know, we'll do. just being a deterrent, essentially. Because if you 311, you don't even have to say anything. I know if a 311 is coming from you, it's going to be from here for how long do you anticipate being here, roughly? Uh, we're over halfway done, so uh, I don't know, five minutes, seven minutes, something like okay. that. Okay, all right, perfect. Yeah. If if you hear anyone come here, if you hear a car door slam shut outside, we'll just 311, um, sure. I'll inform officers, uh, you know, and I'll be in the general area, so yeah. I'll be able to respond quickly. We're sitting um, on like twenty thousand dollars worth of fur in here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the last thing I want is for y'all to get y'all to get robbed. It's um, crazy how much you have to just. <laughs> I mean, I well, where do you have to bring all this from here? All, all the way back up to Polito to the hunting lodge. Ooh. What, what did you is just? Is that do? not a common robbery spot? So the hunting lodge is a common robbery spot. Um, it, but here's the thing, and this is gonna sound super dumb, but uh, you know, once you give it to the guy, it, nobody can steal it from him. You know. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it on lockdown. Yeah, that makes exactly. sense. All right. So, fair enough. 
you know, you don't have to really worry once you give them all your shit, then you're kind of safe until you grab the money and then you got to get to a bank fucking fast. <laughs> hey, you thought you were safe. <laughs> all right. So well, it's, it's got its moments of, of pure terror. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Um, but yeah, I will. Uh, I'll let officers know now. All right. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, we'll see you Thursday. Wait, what's Thursday? I'm on duty. Oh, but you didn't know, did you? No. Yeah, you're looking at Cadet Monroe here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, what mm -hmm. shift? Shift two. Okay, that's why I didn't know. I'm being real. Oh, I, oh right, we yeah, are, shift three. Yep, we are most definitely shift three for another three, four hours. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and shift three is the most understaffed. Uh, both understaffed and like lack of FTOs in general as a result. Well, once, um, I'm, once I'm a PPO, I can kind of <laughs> help out a little bit on shift three. Um, I'm usually awake until like, you know, now ish. Usually this is about my bedtime. Yeah, I don't. But, I've never took issue with people uh, sort of extending their shift into another shift. Yeah. Um, I know other people have taken issue with uh, some people coming on duty at certain times, but we need help across the board. So. People That's are willing to show up. I I don't see any problem with it. Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. Well, I Is guess I'll see you Thursday. One thirty ten eight. Uh, be advised, I am going to stay in the general area of Popular and Vespucci, um, just on the basis that there are quite a few people processing uh, fur-related stuff at the processing facility. And they're probably sitting on like twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff. Um, if a three one one comes in from Xavier Monroe, uh, it is going to be at the processing plant. Um, and I told him if he hears anybody, just three one one, and I'm in the area. I'll swing by just as you know, means of being a deterrent from any crime happening. Hmm. I don't want to move too far away. Echo 64, same traffic. Patty sixty six.
dispatch 130 1038 southbound popular street with a lucky plucker semi truck <laughs> Get him, bro. Uh, likely occupied twice uh ro is patty guinness <laughs> Hmm. Same guy, not from today, no. <clears throat> How are we doing, Oh, officer? hello. <laughs> hey, How are we doing you? today? I'm doing good. No, How are I'm you? Not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Can't complain. Can't complain. That's good. That's good. Well, I'm Officer Rhodes, the Los Santos Police Department, and reason for the stop today was um, you're speeding, but also not stopping at a red light. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. That's um, fair enough. is there a reason as to why that happened? Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Um, well, I'm going to think the same as your passenger and that you are bad at following the rules of the road. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm sure her and I can agree. Right. Oh my god, we are like telepathic. We are like united yeah. in thought. We're I like, know! We are connected, it's like almost like spiritually at this point. You are like singing the song to my soul right now. Like, I'm loving what I'm hearing. Like, turn up the volume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Same. Ah, is that you, Mr. Guinness? Yes, yes. Okay. Mr. Guinness, you have some identification with you today? You would think so. All right. Perfect. Dang, there we go. 2275 for the state ID. Perfect. Is that the truth? And um, I imagine we're heading down to the docks. Hey, slow uh, down. We are. Yeah, we're late. Ah, whose fault is that? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna blame anyone here, but you know, not gonna. You know, and you I know. know. I well, don't have to say the words out loud. I'm telepathic. Yeah, I have... girl. I uh, trust me. I already heard what you said. Mhm. Mm I heard yeah, what you I'm said, and Mr. Okay. Guinness, okay. respectfully, had you not have been speeding very, and or running red lights, your vehicle would be moving right, right now. But uh, here would, we are, so would, I think you are responsible. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Welcome yeah, aboard. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Well, uh, like uh, uh, let me go run your uh, information, on, Mr. Bro, Guinness. Uh, yeah, did y'all just hear all that? Right. We're all good, right? What the fuck was that? You really need to run the Oh my gosh. I think he's gonna run your information. I heard him. He's yeah. Like, Fucking shut up. To You're so yeah, annoying. I'm gonna go run, run your info. Country. I'm gonna run your info. Oh, hell no. Didn't hear anything? Oh my gosh. One seven one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have 76 back to MLPD and take a little... A little cheeky nap in the... In the locker room. One six two, same traffic. I'll approach from the. I think it's fucking hilarious that it's always us. It is always us pulling him over. Every time it's us.
Do we even know if it's the courthouse or the fire station? I'm not sure. If we can keep one mobile, one unit mobile, because uh, I'm I'm not going to be able to pursue. Uh, one twenty, I will. Oh, be advised in the alleyways off of East Foreign and Rockford Drive, there is one four-door black door vehicle, color vehicle, coming back at Eli Porter Park. So it might be over uh, across the way. I'm gonna start climbing up the firehouse. Alright. <clears throat> Would you like for me to remain I'm gonna go to the chief. try to get some photos? Well, the good some. news is you still have your license. Break eyes on, eyes know. on, they're the south side. Uh, well, pretty good the last like week or so. Right, He's yeah, yeah, almost performed, for somebody honestly. who drives professionally, though, that's they're concerning. That you have to point out oh, over that's, as, limits, that's as, as good as saying, yeah. you know, it's been one week since the last accident on the job. Oh, it, it hasn't even been that long. long. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised. Mr. Guinness, right now you are looking at. Okay. You well, hold on. You are looking at a first degree speeding citation and failure to stop. I only got two suspects. Which is in total one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars and four points on your license. Right. Uh, oh wait, how many points do I have? Well you had eight, now you're gonna be at twelve. Uh well you're your driving needs to improve, Mr. Guinness. I don't know how many times we can have this conversation. It, it's you come know, to the point you, you where you're I, having that conversation a lot. Obviously, you have no idea. You know, girl, listen, I understand your pain. Trust me, you can lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink. Now, respectfully, if I if I knew this, this of Mr. Lead. If I knew this of Mr. Guinness, I don't know that I'd be jumping into the passenger seat. I understand, you know, the money's probably fairly good. But uh, ain't no amount of money worth risking my life, you know? Well, you're saying to get a new partner, so are you? Um, my life officer is never at risk. Honestly, Patty's a self-inflicting wound. Oh. You know, that, that kind of adds up, I think. Yeah, no, that adds up. <sighs> but Mr. Guinness, I am going to need your signature right here along the bottom. It's not a mission of guilt, it's just indicating you've received it. And if you'd like, you can attempt to appeal this any time in the do? next 30 days. Dang. All right, perfect. There we are. And beyond that, do you have any comments, questions, or concerns, Mr. Guinness? Um, Obviously, you know, the Formula One was last week. What do we think of it? Because obviously you were watching because... You said you did say you'd watch last time. No, I didn't. Fair. What? Yeah, you did. N no, I didn't. You 100% did. You picked the team as well, which I'll be real, I don't really remember. I think you said McLaren. Right. No, I specifically went against McLaren because it was like, oh. Oh. I think I went really? against McLaren. I think you went Aston sure Martin, no. to be honest, or it was either Aston no, Martin no, or you went for Mercedes. Mercedes. Oh, it was no, Mercedes. No. It was Mercedes. Oh, it's Mercedes? Okay. How'd I do? Well, you didn't watch? No! Officer, come on, man. You made a pledge. I, I made no such pledge. Actually, you know what? You made a pledge, too, to follow the rules of the road, and here we are. When did I make that? When you got your license. <laughs> oh, I don't really, I think the guy got it for me. I didn't really... I don't think I... Never mind. Uh -huh. um, how did you do? I don't think. Yeah, no. You had some uh, gearbox issues. Ooh. The engine was uh, overheating. It was not good. Ooh. Honestly, Hamilton was a let, not a letdown, but he just he didn't he didn't shit the bed. Yeah, he lost the to the fucking kid. Yeah, lost to the 18 year old. Symbolic stuff altogether. Oh, that's. I barely hit puberty. How do, wait? How do you even get enough training by that age? Another guy gets Go, you, you know, you have a father who's balling with cash, right? Like, runs a right. reinsurance company worth, like, I don't know, $600 million. And so you just go go-karting every weekend because you can. And, and then uh, because you're so rich, 
and your dad so like loaded you just beat all the other kids until you just beat all the kids until you know you Not get to the formula one right 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 no I he understand. might actually yeah. beat kids physically you never know he could be a bully he's a lanky fucker he it? did have a lot of money he, it would like he would be entitled to bully oh jeez all right just, well yeah. well uh, so the answer is just be rich you know like stupidly rich and have carton as a hobby Okay, but as a parent, I mean, school, obviously I at 18, you're an adult, right? But... He's driving for Ferrari, too. It's crazy. Oh, that's... Okay, that is... Basically, one of the main drivers got sick and couldn't... This guy's not, he's not supposed to be there. He's kind of a backup. Yeah, he, and, he, and then he beat Mercedes, and he'd never even driven the car before. Oh my gosh. Because he was in Formula 2, which has, like, worse cars. I don't know much about any of this, but that sounds you that sounds interesting. Hey, you pull us over, you're gonna get like an earful of Formula One until the season. I gotta, over. I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, but y'all are free to go on to my car. My lights are off. Stay safe. Are additionals required? I can, I can, I can. Oh, unless you're going to swap, uh, swap one of these CVPIs off for... I, I do need, I need to swap because this car is going to be too fast for them. Affirm. So okay, so... 160 over, go. Affirm. Thank you. So let's find them Carson. Slowing, right. Oh, actually, oh, 1050, they think they're disabled. Oh, so you should run parallel. Yeah, add on split. One add on split. Uh, Southbound Alta going towards Innocence. Uh, stand by. There's nobody else in the vehicle. Copy. Uh, he's running towards the impound lot here. Uh, if you guys, uh, you guys can pursue him on foot. I'm gonna stay with this car. There was AC unit pumped inside the car. Alright, suspects so continue northbound, parallel to uh, Alta Street. Whole block Woody, eastbound. Westbound. westbound towards Alta Street. He's southbound on the train tracks. Climbing over the blue fence, eastbound towards the tow yard. To eastbound towards the tow yard, the main lot. Uh, southbound towards Innocence. I'm gonna talk about that. Southbound. That's fine. That's fine. I, I know what I'm doing. Southbound towards Innocence. There's black hoodie, black pants, black shoes. In westbound Innocence, transitioning southbound Carson. <laughs> Please stop running. Eastbound Innocence, passing the clocking bell, passing the happy shark, the snapper's delight. Continuing right. eastbound Innocence. Eastbound towards Forum Drive. Look at the bike unit. Continuing southbound drive, climbing up the stairs. Eastbound, correction northbound, it's a rooftop. <coughs> Palo Innocent eastbound. Cup. Distant, running northbound, correction westbound, northbound towards Innocence. Baxter, two northbound towards the tow yard, positioning westbound Innocence. Passing the clocking bell again. Eastbound. <laughs> Alex is going down the run. Eastbound distance. Running towards the car wash. Direction U turn westbound distance. Doing northbound, passing the uh, parallel altar. Left. Westbound they have sufficient the units on the, uh, the pursue. Westbound through an alleyway exit on Alder Street. Uh, also, of yeah. course, as soon as I swap in, fifty. Yeah, he just he ate shit right here on the corner, sir. So. On the train tracks. Uh, I'm surprised. Through northbound Alder Street. Oh. This car was oh, fucking no. gapping me. One so moment. Badly. One moment. Be on the phone. phone. He said help. Are you okay? 
I'm good. Are you sure? A little bit different, so that didn't hurt at all. Are you are you certain? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, okay. I'm actually very. I'm surprised. I'm very all surprised. right, all right. Stay yeah. safe. Continuing westbound, Stay. crossing Alter Street. Continuing westbound, Adams Apple Bullock, approaching Calais. Jumping southbound on the Olympic Freeway. Southbound, Palo Alto Street. My bicycle is there. If you try to go for it, he's getting a hit. It's right next to my vehicle. Running westbound towards Lower La Puerta. We're actually continuing southbound to the original scene. Uh, eastbound towards Alta Street, passing Break. Larry's Break, 1060, two-door blue sports vehicle. Uh, currently southbound Alta. It's heading, it's heading for you guys. He's on my bike. Uh, currently northbound Alta on the bike. Uh, they attempted a jump down towards La Puerta. A firm. He's found Adam's apple with the bicycle. They're still attempting to jump over the wall. Uh, left northbound Alta. Get someone on the porta uh, immediately. Uh, northbound towards Vespucci. Uh, westbound Vespucci at the moment. I'm pretty sure Abdul almost killed the guy on the bicycle. Uh, we're in the red garage heading up to the second floor. U turning. And southbound back to Vespucci. Right, westbound Vespucci. Again, this is with the bicycle. We're sort of doing circles here. A firm. Heading back to the first floor with the bicycle. They're back on the bicycle, heading towards Vespucci. South of Vespucci. I need another ground unit, if possible. East of Vespucci. And we're right eastbound. Oh, he's off the bike, off the bike. Uh, between Peaceful and Alta. Don't get on the bike! <sighs> you got Hands stuff, behind your stuff. back. Yeah, that's my new senior. Don't resist. <sighs> I won't resist. Don't I'm do it. Resist. Stop running. Run into the red garage. Stop. Ah. Ow. Back on towards red garage, entering the red garage. You stick with him, I'm getting in my car. Running through the red garage westbound, first floor. Dark green and colored hoodie, he's gonna be on the phone. <coughs> and westbound looks like he's going to be jumping over the uh, railing here uh, to start in the freeway. All right, do we have any units with that Vigero? Uh, no, we broke off of it because we were trying to get it out of there, but we had a car con car, so we needed to take him back. We're getting back on the freeway. Suspect's on the freeway now. He's going to be running northwest on the freeway. On the phone, looks like he's going to be uh, going to be trying to get a car swap. Yeah, car, car, car swap. Blue and colored Camaro. All right, here. Vehicles have been hit. Spacey southbound. Oh, it's a manual. I'm here. They're, they're not. They're not getting out of that box. One six two attached. One one three continuing incorrect lines of travel eastbound Delphi Freeway. Transitioning correct lines of travel. Uh, any chance we can get someone in a VSTR? This thing's gonna intentionally highway blast us. I'll go to MRP and grab one now. 
Negative, negative. Uh, I was asking if someone was already in one. Full sending. VCB, uh, I think they went mirror and turn overpass. You motion king, right? Yeah, motion king. It hurt just a bit. 162, code 6 westbound, Miriam Turner. Uh, if you go directly off Miriam Turner from the impound lot, you might be able to catch him. Uh, 113 will go voodoo place. Hey, Perm, I'm uh, by the scrapyard right now. Yeah. <laughs> they got into the Vigero, right? In blue in color. Um, last four is going to be Whiskey915. Oh, I was not paying attention. Thankfully, that was further back. 162, code 16 southbound towards the old tuner. <laughs> I'm sorry, bicycle guys. I really wanted to tackle him, but... Sorry. I got here pretty quick. I didn't see the big arrow come. Uh, uh, they either pa had already passed me or they got off the highway somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to be real. If we're anywhere close to a freeway or heading close to one with one of those, um, I, I don't think moving forward, I am letting it get onto the freeway. Uh, the same thing happens every time. They just do 150 plus. Is that just like, are they just stealing that car and just whipping it, it's it around? It's 1060, yeah. Who's the RO for the original car? Eli Porter. to Voodoo Place the Chum Streets Code 4. I've searched the entirety of the docks. here.
Hello. Hello. Hi. Rhodes, is this is this the right place to re report a stolen car? Uh, that would be uh, 311. Alternatively, if you were carjacked, you could 911 uh, if it is an emergency. Okay, okay. Um, why? What's up? What happened? <sighs> I left I left my car outside outside Mosley's and uh, I was I was taking a couple important business calls and I wasn't um, really paying attention and I go back and my car's can gone. Call the uh, Vigero Utility. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. From Mosley's? Uh, yeah. Um, I thought I, I thought it would be safe there, but yeah, where was it parked? Is that at Mosley's? Right, but like where road? Mosley's? Where? Uh, you know, you well, know, is it at Mosley's uh, or across the road? No, 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 no. You know the the car park across the road from Mosley's? Like by the apartment complex? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. It's definitely it's gone. Yeah, no, it's uh, gone. Which vehicle was it? Uh, it's a tailgate arrest. <laughs> oh, Black wait. Bomb. Hold on. Is this Eli? It is indeed. Eli? Yes, Rhodes. Your tailgater was just impounded. What do you mean it was impounded? It was used in a crime. What? Mm hmm. What yep, kind was... of crime? Um, well, it recklessly evaded from the police department. Oh. Or attempted to before it went up in smoke. What the fuck? So it, not only is it ruined, yeah. it's been impounded. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, un unfortunately. Um, now the oh. good news is we can narrow down who it was. Really? Um, yep. From my understanding, there were no signs of tampering to the vehicle, which means that the person likely what? had a key. Yeah. You really need to start looking, you know, from within. Whoever had or has keys to your car, you need to be, you need to be eyeing them up and down. And when you find out who's responsible, you need to have a conversation, about, you know, with them regarding how what they did is not okay. If something is not theirs, they should not take, you know? Yeah, no, listen, if it's not yours, you shouldn't touch it. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Thieves and criminals, I, I no, despise them. I could not agree with you more. I, yeah. you, I'm so glad we're on the same page here. Yeah, I'm I am glad so we're on the glad. Same page as well. Um, tell you what though, I'll uh, <sighs> I'll be around the Mosley's area, um, keeping an eye out. But I, I mean, it's too late now. My car's fucked. Well, I mean, yeah, but it doesn't mean I can't prevent further stuff from happening, right? Yeah, Plus, true. again, you know, with no signs of tampering, you kind of want to be looking from within. It's kind of like... Um, oh, I'm definitely looking from within. It, it's kind of like uh, when uh, a husband shows up dead, the first person you got to look at is the wife. It's the wife. Exactly. Yep. And a yep. lot of people don't realize that, but think about it. Most times they think they have this perfect alibi. Oh, they were my one and only. I would never. Bull fucking shit. Yeah, bullshit. There's always someone else. There's okay, always some uh, ul uh, ulterior motives. I'm gonna look at my seven wives real hard, real quick. At what? Seven? Good yeah. on you. Good on you. Are you living your best life? Well, I was until my car got impounded and it's fucked. You know what? Yeah, I'm, fair I'm enough. assuming that repair is gonna cost me a lot. Even though I'm the best mechanic in town, it still costs a lot to get parts. How much? For a, for a one across, how much are parts nowadays? Mm, I mean, I, I've i stayed at 1.5, one across. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. In comparison to, I mean, hell, the other day I was charged almost two grand. Ooh. I guess you went to Mosley's. I didn't have another choice. It's not like Popular uh, was open. Well, that, that's that's completely out of my hands. My boss, I my know, boss I has know. shut things down because the government don't want to even give us an ATM. So. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Well, I'll let you go. Okay, you stay safe. So, quite question What's for up? you. Like, what, yeah, sure. My, my car's been impounded. How much should I charge the person that was responsible? How, how bad's it going to be? I'm going to be real. Uh, I don't have the answer for you. Um, genuinely, I 
don't have... I mean, you're just going to have to swing by the impound lot and find out what the unimpound cost is. Okay. Uh, but you should definitely make that person responsible. And if you find out who they are... Oh, I will. You let me know, and I'll make sure they're held legally responsible. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, well you have a good one. You. Stay Always safe. Hurts. You too. You too. Bye. Dispatch 130, 1038 Westbound Vespucci, nearest cross peaceful street on the southern side of the red garage. A black and color two door ballista occupied once. Howdy, officer. Hello. I'm Officer Rhodes, Los Santos Police Department. How are you? Good, good, good. Enjoying that's, my evening. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Um, do you have any idea as to why I pulled you over? Probably might have ran through a red light or something. You, yeah, you did that. And you were speeding. It definitely um, looked um, like you were speeding. I'm pretty sure I, I have a... You can check. I, I set the speed limiter to 57. That right, yeah, that's the issue. The speed limit's 55. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, hello, hello. two miles per hour over is uh, it's really an issue, officer. Well, for, let me uh, let me ask you this. It's two miles an hour uh, over what? Black and Speed Club, limit. Mm -hmm. And what is the limit? Nearest cross, strawberry. The recommended. Civil. Amount recommended. Of speed. Recommended. Mm -hmm. Recommended. Recommended means, um, you know, it's, uh, it's like suggested, you know, like you can, but you don't have to. That's not how speed limits work. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I try my best to, to hit that 55, but, you know, it's not the And why would thing. you set your limiter to 57? I thought it was close enough. No. Okay, then what's your excuse behind the red light? I'm uh, trying to set my speed limiter. Honestly. There's no way because you were doing 57 back there, which means your speed limiter was set way back there. Yeah, I was trying to get it down correctly. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All right. Um. Well, you have some identification with you? Absolutely. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. One, six, two, and Mr. Kim, have you been pulled over before? Seven, one, six, two, uh, sure, seven, plenty six, of times. Seven, plenty of times. I mean, you're a frequent my time flyer. In Los Santos. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're pulling me over for two one, miles six, over the traffic. speed limit, sure, I get pulled over a couple Purple times a day, one, probably. Uh, Red light here. Speed limit there. I'm trip. trying. I mean. The last time I got pulled over, I was going 88. The officer didn't believe me, so he told me to take off with the car to see what it meant. And my Landstalker goes from 0 to 90 in like 2 seconds. Oh. Yeah, and I told him it's so hard to set the speed limit on that thing because the first gear makes me take off above 55 within like half a second. Hey, you're good to back off, yeah. I'm just talking. So, uh, okay. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a struggle, honestly. I, I afford too many cars, Borky Sanitation. I, I don't blame them for taking away my nights, because honestly, it's just too good money. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Kim, do me a favor. Sit tight. I'll be with you shortly, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I mention, um, real Ooh. quick? Yep. What's up? If you, if, if, if you reach out to Miss Chastity, uh, you know, uh, I, I frequently go there and clean up the trash for you guys. So we actually Over just finished Mission cleaning Row? up. Yeah, we just finished cleaning Mission Row uh, like 15 minutes ago. 
And so I was uh, on my way to get some senior buns because I'm hungry as fuck after that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just thought mm. uh, community service might look.